Hi guys, welcome to WP Met and today I'm gonna show how you can create a Shopify like website using WooCommerce and Shop Engine from scratch. Let's not waste any more time and let's get started by adding a page. Before you move on, make sure that your template is in Elementor Canvas. Now we will start working with the Elementor page builder. Before getting started, make sure that you have Elements Kit add-on installed on your WordPress website. The Elements Kit add-on has a variety of ready-made sections, pages and templates. For this video, we are gonna use one of the ready-made headers of Elements Kit. You can edit this ready-made header as per your requirement. You can resize your logo, you can change the alignment. Now in the next section, I'm gonna add the image carousel. Now you can add the pictures you want for the image carousel. Now I'm going to add a product section to this page but before doing that I'll be adding a heading. You can change the text color, the typography as per your requirement. The shop section is complete now, so let's move on to the next step. But before adding the next section, I'm gonna add a heading first. As we have added the heading now, let's add the customer review section. I'm not doing anything fancy here, I'm just adding the customer review pictures in the image section.
we are almost at the last section of this page and we're gonna add a CTA in the end uh, just to convert our visitors into customers. So after adding a short footer, we are going to add a block section as I think it's mandatory to have a block section on your page. So now I'm changing the background color and the font color as well. Lastly, I'm adding the footer for this page. For the footer, I am using a ready-made footer from Elements Kit pre-made section. Now I will be editing the footer as per my requirement, just like I did for the header.
as we have completed the video let's preview the whole page as you can see there is the header the menu and the next is the image carousel you can slide it and after that you're gonna see the product page and here comes the customer review section and after that the CTA and the footer so that's it let's move on to the next which is the shop page before moving on to the next step which is the shop page you must install shop engine on your website and go to the builder templates and as you can see you can add a new template and there are many pre-made templates as well so I'm gonna choose one which is design one And just like before, I'm gonna change the template to Elementor Canvas from the full width. As I have used the ready-made template, so it's almost ready. I don't need to change much. So I'll be adding a heading. So for the heading, I'm using the element skit heading widget. As you can see the shop page is almost ready and I'll just add a footer and get it done. So I'll just change the background color and the font as I need to match it with the home page that I made before.
so we are finally done with the shop page let's preview the whole page now and this is what i made within this time so that's it let's move on to the next which is the product page So it is going to be the same procedure for the product page as well. We are going to follow the same steps that we did in shop page. So we will go to the shop engine then build the templates then we will add a new template. With the help of Shop Engine's ready-made templates, you can see that our product page is already almost ready. But before doing the minor edits, we need to first change our template from Elementor Full Width to Elementor Canvas. Now let's do a few minor edits plus add a header as well. I'm using Element Skit header widget as it is more customizable and user friendly as well. Now let's change the background color and do the binary edits that we are supposed to do. I'm just adding the footer now. Let's add the product size chart now. It is Shop Engine's one of the most recent features and it is a very useful one as well.
there are two options to view the chart which is normal and model so i prefer the model one you can choose any one you want to So as we are done now, let's preview the whole product page. As you can see, we made the single product, added a chart and even the add to cart button. So the second one is done. So let's move on to the cart page now. So it's the same procedure. You have to go to shop engine. You have to go to the builder templates. And this time you have to choose cart and I'm choosing the card design one. So this is our pre-made card page, but before moving on to the next step, let's do the same thing. Let's change the template to Elementor Canvas. So just like before we have to do minor edits and change the font or color or the background whatever you need just to match with the previous ones. In this template, you will get everything you need for a card page that is shipping, the subtotal, coupon code or whatever you need. We have completed the shopping cart page now, so let's preview the whole page that we have made. So the next one is the checkout page and let's move on. It's the same steps. You have to go to shop engine, you have to go to builder templates, then add new. But this time make sure that you choose checkout. So I'm just choosing the first template and let's go edit with Elementor now. So just like the previous ones, the checkout template is also almost ready. But we will just go to the dashboard and change the template from Elementor full width to Elementor canvas. Let's do all the minor edits now and get it done as soon as we can.
For editing purpose, I'm using Element Skit widget as these widgets are ready to use plus they are easy as well plus they are very customizable. It doesn't actually matter if you are a new user or experienced one cause shop engines templates are very easy to use plus they are customizable as well. So let's change the font colors and guess what we are finally done. So this is the preview page. You can see we are done, we have added everything. We have finally completed our checkout page and here is the preview. So thanks for watching this video. I hope this video helped you and if you have any questions or queries please ask in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe our page.